After I left Edinburgh, I joined this camp ship, the Empire Lawrence, as I mentioned before, and um, uh, we were used on the Russian convoy runs. And the moment we arrived at Bear Island, which is the western end of the Barents Sea, Arctic, of course, uh, we were bombed continually for seven days until the convoy reached Murmansk. And um, on one day, we were bombed by 200 German dive bombers and torpedo bombers. On the 27th of May, 1942, uh, we were singled out for a, an attack and uh, all of the dive bombers concentrated on the Empire Lawrence because they realized that we were the ship uh, with the Hurricane aircraft and we might have more Hurricane aircraft on board. And we were hit by five bombs and the ship just exploded. And that was a pretty dreadful business. I mean, in the whole of the war, I never experienced anything worse than that. I flew through the air and the next thing I knew, the ship just exploded. The next thing I knew, I was deep down in the Arctic and um, it was freezing cold. When I came to the surface, I knew I could only last for about 10 minutes, otherwise you died. 10 minutes was long enough, um, you just froze to death. And I could see um, a lifeboat fairly near me. And I was about 10 minutes in the water until I reached that lifeboat. And I spent another 10 minutes on the upturned lifeboat, it was a wreck of a lifeboat. And I was another 10 minutes there before I was rescued by HMS Hyderabad. I was one of the few people rescued, by the way. And um, we were then taken out to Murmansk. Um, in Murmansk, I was taken to the Russian military hospital, and I wasn't badly wounded, but I spent some time there. And when I was released from the hospital, uh, I had no clothes. I'd lost everything in the explosion. So they gave me a Russian uh, army uniform and sent me to a Russian army camp. And there I was, a British person in a Russian army camp.